Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Friday, November 4th, 2016 and today in our Tech News Update we have Samsung that is once again in trouble. We had heard of a few reports of exploding washing machines. Well, now it's official. Samsung recalls 2.8 million washing machines. That's pretty much another big blow to Samsung. Things are not going right right now. So basically, if you have a Samsung washing machine and you've bought it in the past year or two, I think you should actually check with Samsung to make sure that it's not part of a recall. So Samsung uh, washing machines seem to have exploded in a certain number of homes. And of course, Samsung is not taking any chances. Bring it back. Uh, we will refund you. And uh, well, I guess this is another blow. And another one that uh, might actually hurt uh, Samsung quite a lot. So if you've got a Samsung washing machine, check with Samsung to make sure that it's uh, if it's part of recall or not. Microsoft Edge, uh, it's kind of interesting. Microsoft is kind of so desperate to uh, have everybody use Microsoft Edge that basically uh, some of you have started seeing a little message in the taskbar that says uh, that you should use Microsoft Edge and be part of a rewards program. So apparently using Edge will bring you into a rewards program where you can actually get free apps from the Windows Store or all sorts of free um, things that uh, Microsoft sells. So um, I don't know, will this take on or will this just annoy people and say, well, I don't want to have your ads of you know having me use Microsoft Edge so uh, we'll see what happens with this. Well, Google is, uh, of course, still to um, actually tell the European Union uh, what it uh, deems is wrong and uh, what the uh, EU wants. Of course, uh, the European Union is actually uh, saying that uh, they have an antitrust case with uh, uh, basically Google. And they say that Google is too dominant and that uh, it's not fair. Google today told the EU, well, you know what? We're not breaking any rules and we are not unfair. Uh, I think the biggest problem here in this battle is that the European Union doesn't understand the Internet. So, of course, uh, this comes as uh, Google is uh, supposed in the coming weeks or to, uh, to um, deposit basically their defense saying why they don't think that it is a problem and uh, of course this is going to be an interesting one to ch check for because there are billions of dollars in fines that are at stake here. Yesterday Microsoft released a new insider preview build 14.959 of the creators update so check it out not a lot of things new but if you want to have a little idea of what it looks like and what it is you can check out my review that I posted yesterday on this new version. Of course, you got to be in the fast ring to get this latest version. Talking about creators update, uh, one of the things that is interesting, it's still not on the PC side, but yesterday on the mobile side, it's starting a new universal update platform was rolled in. So it's coming to the PC also in not very long. And this is a very, very interesting feature because instead of getting these big huge updates we will start getting smaller updates that will seamlessly install without you know annoying you with anything or annoying you with restarts so this is going to be interesting to see and it's all in uh, an idea that Microsoft wants to try to make uh, Windows 10 updates as easy as possible instead of having these big 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 huge chunk of updates that are basically reinstalls of Windows every time so uh, it's not yet on the uh, latest Insider Preview for PC, but it did roll in on mobile Insider Previews yesterday. So uh, that's going to be interesting to see how it goes. Well, a uh, interview where Steve Ballmer was uh, talking about his friendship with uh, Bill Gates. And it seems that uh, Steve Ballmer and Bill Gates are not as friendly as they were. Apparently, um, it all started over the Windows phones and how things didn't go well with Windows Phone. And uh, it created some frictions with uh, between Bill Gates and Steve Ballmer. 
And so Steve Ballner said that, uh, yep, their friendship isn't uh, as good as it was before. And finally, if you have uh, or use Skype Preview, there's a new Skype Preview update for everybody. So if you're in the anniversary update of Windows uh, 10, which is uh, version uh, 1607, well, check it out because uh, the update to the Skype Preview now will actually uh, show you your text messages that you have in between devices. And of course, I will be checking out this feature and uh, try to post a video in the next few days of how it works. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but it's rolling out to everybody. So just uh, you know, go to the Windows Store, make sure that you update your apps, and you should see an update for Skype Preview available. And uh, this will, of course, um, have s SMS text messages uh, shown across different devices. And so this was the Tech News Update for Friday, November the 4th, 2016. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Hope you enjoy our videos. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And have a great weekend. We will be back with the Tech News Updates on Monday. Thank you for watching.